this is a wonderful and a horrible time to be living because the technology that is becoming available is phenomenal but most people will never be able to get their hands on it it's too expensive this is Mindy Jacobson I cannot see light or dark I don't know where the windows are I don't know whether the carpet is light or dark. She's totally blind, an avid singer, and the first vice president of the National Federation of the Blind. We live in a digital age where innovative technology is providing solutions to help the blind. There are now wearable devices that can completely change the life of someone who is blind. I can see your face. I can see your eyebrows and your eyes. And but these so-called technical cures are still not a reality for millions of blind Americans. For them, it just remains a dream that sits behind the steep wall of the costs that come with affording the tech. What I'm doing right now is there is a company that is offering a pair of glasses and you use your phone and call them up they can see what you're what you would be seeing if you were looking you know if you could be seeing if i go to a soda machine let's say i want diet coke they can tell me which one to press they can tell me where the change dispenser is if i didn't find it but i'm paying a price for this i'm paying 89 dollars for the month but i'll only get a hundred minutes for the month and I promise you that's not much because you could use their help. I could use their help a hundred times a day. Okay, let's pause. 100 minutes. Imagine having to pick out which one hour and 40 minutes of time that you wanted to spend seeing for the month. $89 for 100 minutes of your time. And that's the basic plan, which comes out to $1,068 a year. Or you have the option of paying $329 for unlimited minutes, which is more than people's car payments. So unlimited use of IRA comes to $3,948 a year. And keep in mind, this is not covered by insurance. So regardless of what kind of plan you have, Medicaid, Medicare, whatever it may be, these are out-of-pocket costs, which not a lot of blind people confront. You know, it's it's... It is a little difficult when you give up something that you have been using. It really is, but you got a chance to do it. You got a chance to try it. I think that the greatest barrier that blind people will have to the use of technology is the, this lack of insurance to cover that technology. So why is there such a lack of coverage? I asked Dr. Melissa Chun, the director of the Vision Rehabilitation Center at Stein Eye Institute. I believe that technology innovation or what we call vision assistive equipment should be covered um, by insurance because these devices really are um, durable medical equipment that replace the function of a damaged organ. For instance, patients with um, Parkinson's, for those patients, lift chairs are, are covered as assistive equipment. Um, for uh, electric scooters, for maybe people with um, severe arthritis uh, have coverage. Uh, and yet, vision-assisted devices uh, is not covered for those with vision loss. So I think there's, to me, a, a, a little sense of discrimination against those with vision loss. So what about the creators of some of this tech? What are they doing about the high costs? What are they doing to make their innovations available for the blind? Suman Kanaganti is the CEO of IRA, the device that Mindy is currently using. For typically insurance to play a role, we need to have enough scale. We are putting 
uh, a lot of focus on making it affordable in the long run and as a matter of fact technology you know with the scale is going to get cheaper and cheaper um, uh, anyways but we want to get this in the hands of millions i would anticipate we should be in a position in the next year or two to make it sort of affordable to almost any anybody uh, what i think is going to happen is there is going to be more and more people uh, chiming in so if all these big guys start to take a small piece of it it's going to become even more affordable to the end user it just it takes a lot a lot of time much more time than people really have you know by the time this technology becomes available the current population will be in their 90s but as for Mindy, she won't let time stop her. Person's waiting for me and my gal. It would be really a dream to be able to lower the cost of being able to see. One thing about singing is at the end of the day, nobody can take that away from me. As the technology gets greater and greater and more and more expensive, it won't cost me any more to sing a song. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.